Hey, it's your girl Kevon Shee and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, as always, welcome. So for today's video, if you could not tell by the title, I'm going to go ahead and try out the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. And I'm going to also try out some new products that I also got in from e.l.f. So if you want to see my thoughts and my review, as well as how I got today's look, then keep on watching. <laughs> trying out the new e.l.f. Uh, full coverage CC cream and I'm also going to be trying out some new e.l.f. products that I got along the way. It's not all of my e.l.f. products that's coming in but it's some of the first that I ordered and some of the first that I wanted to come in. So we're just going to jump right into the video because I don't want this to be long. So as you can see I've already done my brows and I've already spot concealed um, off camera. First we're going to do a little bit of underpainting as you're saying and we're just going to conceal underneath the eyes we're going to go ahead and put our highlight placement where we want it to go All right, now that we have all of that blended out, we're gonna go ahead and get into the star of the show, which is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is a color correcting, full coverage, natural finishing. And it also has um, SPF 30 in here, for, which is sunscreen. So I did not apply any sunscreen on my face because I did watch a few videos and a lot of people already put sunscreen on their face. Um, and then sometimes when you put too much, it can cause like a cast underneath your makeup. So I did watch some reviews just to kind of see just a few tips and tricks that I could learn before I went and applied this to my face. I got this in the shade Deep 540N. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, I have neutral and olive undertones. So almost every foundation you're going to see me get, unless I cannot absolutely find my shade, um, it'll be neutral. Otherwise, I will go with a golden undertone. So it says here for the directions to apply one to two pumps of the CC cream to clean skin using the Elf Complexion Duo Brush to achieve an airbrush finish. I don't have the Elf Complexion Duo Brush, but I'm going to do half of my face with a brush, an Elf brush, and I'm going to do half my face with a Total Face sponge, which was that pink sponge that you saw me switch to earlier. So it says one to two pumps. I'm going to go ahead and pump. Okay. So I didn't pump all the way down because that first squirt came out a lot from just like maybe three quarters of the pressure just to give you an idea of how much I used. So I'm going to go ahead and dab this on this half of my face and I'm going to use the brush for this half. And as you can see, it's a pretty spot on shade match. Like, I'm impressed. And with the brush so far, I don't see any like streaking or anything like that. So I'm not mad at how it applies. And so far with the coverage, like, you can definitely build this up, but already I'm seeing like it's just covering all the stuff that I didn't cover in the beginning when I spot corrected. You always want to make sure you hit that jawline and go a little bit down your neck, just so if you do have issues where the shade is just slightly off, then you don't have like a line of demarcation. Next, we're going to go on this side with the sponge. And because I'm using the sponge, I don't want to pick it up with the sponge because I don't want the makeup to get absorbed in there. So I'm just going to place it with my finger. And then we're going to go ahead and blend that out.
I will say looking at my face, I feel like I would prefer a brush over a sponge. Like there's a spot right here. I don't know if you can see it, but I can kind of see like a little bit of a shadow of just like a blemish underneath. So what I'm gonna do is just put out just a little bit more on the back of my hand. And just build up that coverage on my whole face, but I'm gonna apply everything using the brush. Yeah, right away, I don't even see that anymore. So for me, I would definitely, I personally prefer the brush in order to get the maximum coverage and a better finish, in my opinion, with this CC cream. And it's not always that way. Uh, in my last video, I used the e.l.f. Um, foundation and I'm pretty sure I use a sponge and I like that. But CC creams are like, CC creams and BB creams are slightly, slightly thinner in texture. So maybe that's why, or it just could be the sponge that I use is just too soft. But otherwise, the brush is very dense and stiff enough so that the makeup can get applied smoothly across the face. So I'm just gonna buff out anything that may have creased in the meantime. I want it to be a little bit brighter underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that just a little bit more to just get a slightly brighter finish. And I'm just concentrating it closer to the inner corner of my eye. And I'm like barely bringing it down just to wake that eye up a little bit more. All right, I feel like I got the level of brightness that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead now and set underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Honey from Fenty Beauty. And this is the shade. It's gonna kinda of like, you might think it's counterproductive to me just re-brightening in my eyes, but I don't know. I really like the shade underneath my eyes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face with the Fenty Beauty Powder in the shade Nutmeg. And this is the shade. It's slightly, like slightly darker than my skin, but it gets the job done. And we're gonna go ahead and press this everywhere that we did not use the previous setting powder. And that's basically the perimeter of the face and the cheeks. And if you did have to apply to your neck, don't forget that area. Elf kind of snapped with giving us like full coverage. Like this is literally rivaling makeup, um, makeup foundation. I'm definitely gonna have to do like a side by side comparison with the um, foundation that I have versus this because I'm trying to remember back to the look from my last video. And I want to say that the finish of my face looked very similar to this, like, spot on and if it's one thing else is doing right now and that is making points elf is snapping they're coming out with some releases and it's kind of very fun and interactive on their instagram stories and their page so i'm really liking like how they're coming into 2021 with the brand all right if you watched my last video then you would have seen that i was literally hyping up the elf prime and stay finishing powder so this is a finishing powder all over powder but i mentioned in that video that um one time i used it as a bronzer and it did some things for me i didn't use it as a bronzer in that video but i'm gonna use it as a bronzer in today's video as you can see it is very dark um but because it's like a prime and stay finishing powder it's light so when i pick it up it's not gonna be like super duper dark on my face because it's not meant to be a bronzer Elf, you need to do something about that.
like y'all see y'all see the content okay it's just beautiful i typically don't contour my nose however i'm gonna do just a little bit of it today but i don't really care for it like i have a big nose like unless i literally go and get surgery nothing's gonna change that i'm just gonna take that because right now we just placed it and now we're just gonna take that and then buff it out i just like to press everything in with a damp sponge to finish off the face we're gonna go in with the maybelline fit me blush and this is in the shade wine <laughs> and this is what it looks like i just want it you know look like a little cutesy you know what i'm saying can't let the girls know that they got you a little bit impressed and for the eyes i'm gonna go in with the elf jalapeno palette this is a bite-sized eyeshadow palette and i'm just gonna take my finger and i'm gonna do it over the lids this gold shade did i get a shade in this nope so i'm gonna take the gold shade with my finger and just rub that all over the lid all right so that is basically it for the face um i mentioned in the video that i also got additional new elf products so we're gonna go ahead and finish off my entire face for so my eyelashes and my lips with the other new elf products and then i'm gonna finish up the end with my first thoughts on what i think about not only the foundation but just the other new products as well so elf just recently came out with a lash it loud volumizing mascara this is what the package looks like because I'm wearing mascara and actually attempting to wear some new mascara today, I'm not gonna put on any lashes for this look. So as I'm first applying, I'm definitely seeing it coat my lashes with a nice layer. I don't see any clumping at this point. So this is a difference. And I mean, I see every single one of my lashes. So for me, not bad. Uh, we're gonna go with the liquid matte lipsticks from e.l.f. I got them in the shade Red Vixen and Coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. These shades stood out for me. And again, I'm liking like the frosted shut me up that is super smooth i barely felt it going on the back of my hand what did they say liquid bath this needs to be like a velvet bath Ooh. okay so i'm gonna put both of them on my lips but based off of my reaction pretty sure you know which one i'm gonna do Okay, so if you're somebody who don't want to use lip liner, I would say that you don't necessarily need it even for this color. I feel like this is more of a blue red. So for me, it definitely fits my skin tone. I don't think it's too, um, I don't know the word. I don't think it contrasts too much with my skin tone and my complexion. Um, a lip liner obviously will definitely bring this and make this pop. A lot of liquid matte lipsticks I find when I put on that I can't talk immediately after. This dries down very fast, like very fast. Some slight transfer, but I can live with that. Other than that, as I'm talking, like I don't feel it being all like dry and cracky, um, like some liquid lipsticks are like immediately after my it feels like nothing is on my lips as well so 
if I was going somewhere important today, I would definitely wear this, but I'm not. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on the shade Coffee. So we're just gonna stick with the brown. I do have like that e.l.f. It's like a pinkier lip plumping gloss, but I don't want my lips to be glossy. I really want this to just be like a matte look. So I'm gonna go against what I feel and I'm gonna leave it this way. All right, so this is the completed look and this is what my face looks like. I personally am happy with the finish. However, we're gonna go one by one and just really condense my thoughts and my feelings about all the products that we applied to applied that we applied and tried today. First, we're gonna go with the liquid matte lipsticks really quickly. I did go and add the Huda Beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade Bombshell. Just kind of give this more of like a pinker, like a more natural look in the center because I felt like it was super brown. Um, but other than that, I really lied. <laughs> I really lied. <laughs> I really liked how these glided on um just even trying to get it off of my hand in the bathroom this will this these definitely have staying power um unless you eat in like some super greasy ass chicken it's not you're gonna have any issues with like transferring when you're drinking some stuff um kissing your bae you know what i'm saying like it's it's gonna stay so that's definitely definitely a plus Next, we have the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. Um, I mean, the tube itself is very, um, very thin and lightweight. <laughs> Must be nice. This doesn't have like anything that makes it look super duper luxe in a way, but it's doing its job. Like I, there's like a mirror right here. It's not magnified or anything like that. And I can see my lashes um i think at the end of the day what all anybody wants is to see their lashes especially when you don't want to put on a falsie so for me this is definitely going in the good pile and last but not least that i actually tried that was new for this video is the star of the show which is the elf camo cc cream as a reminder is this the day this is the day what is going on today just because i haven't eaten this is the shade Deep 540N as a reminder. Um, again, the color correcting full coverage natural finish with SPF. I don't feel like anything's on my face right now. I feel like nothing is moving or has moved. I would say it's been about 40 minutes um, since I first like put this foundation on. Um, maybe 35 since it's been set with everything and this is how it looks overall my thoughts about the elf camel cc cream get you one girl all of the prices and everything like that i'm gonna put in the description box below if i don't put it somewhere in the video i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna put it in the description box because my box didn't come with the invoice with the prices and i'm recording on my phone so i can't look at my phone to see how much they cost but none of these items cost more than ten dollars it's elf it's drugstore it's affordable and with the way that they're stepping up these products baby let me tell you they competing they competing this is gonna wrap up today's video i hope that you enjoyed it um if you are looking or if you were teetering along the lines of diving into um elf products or specifically um their cc cream especially for those who aren't like super duper heavy makeup wearers then i definitely think this video was for you because i 10 out of 10 recommend really quickly the schedule that i'm going to try to stick to are sundays and thursdays with the last wednesday of the month being a special upload for that week so stay tuned for all those good things and as always now that you're done with this video, just go ahead and check out my last video and any further videos, okay? Binge your girl. And I'm out.